morning. It's Thursday, September 18th, 2014, and welcome to this edition of Thursday Morning Live. I'm Isabel. And I'm Nathaniel. We begin today's program with the Back to School Bash, which was held last Friday night. From all accounts, it was a great night. There was a lot of fun games and food. There were games such as tug of war, dizzy bat, dodgeball, and volleyball. But we didn't forget the most famous game of all, the Back to School Bash Egg Toss. The winners of the Back to School Bash Egg Toss were Fleet Wilson and Rob Neal. It was an exciting night and raised a lot of money for the Parents Association. Is it true that Summit teachers Mr. Morelli and Mr. Petronzio are twins? We have specific evidence that shows multiple similarities and few differences. For instance, both Mr. Morelli and Mr. Petronzio are 35-year-old Italian teachers who have facial hair. In addition, they both are fans of Pennsylvania professional sports teams. They also share the trait of being popular with the girls. Almost every day, both Morelli and Petronzio have to kick out 8th grade female students from their rooms. One of their favorite movies is The Shawshank Redemption, and Mr. Petronzio is known for his hot sauce, experiments, and chickens, while Mr. Morelli is known for coaching the Summit Golf Team. Mr. Petronzio said, Mr. Morelli is my brother from another mother. Even though they look exactly the same, they do have differences. Mr. Petronzio has six children, while Mr. Morelli has no children. Mr. Morelli's favorite sport is baseball, while Mr. Petronzio is rugby. Their favorite school subjects are what they teach, which are English and science. One thing Mr. Morelli despises is reality TV, while Mr. Petronzio is annoyed when asked if he is done having kids. Are these two teachers long-lost twins? So many questions asked, so many answered, right here on Thursday Morning Live. Let's go to Jack for our feature story. Thanks, Nathaniel. Many of you have been hearing about ISIS in the news and them harming American citizens. Well, here's the latest about ISIS. They have struck again, this time killing another American journalist. ISIS is led by an Islamic terrorist who was once part of the Al-Qaeda. The group controls much of Syria's coast to, ba to South Baghdad. ISIS, which stands for Islamic State in Iraq and the Levant, is a terrorist group that wants the U.S. to stop bombing Syria because it's killing many of their members. They're currently in Syria trying to take it over the country. President Barack Obama vows to degrade and destroy ISIS. Some people believe that President Obama isn't doing enough to stop ISIS, as others believe that if he does anything, it will start another war. Wouldn't it be great if we could sleep in and go to school an hour later one Wednesday a month? Well, now we can. One designated Wednesday a month, school will start an hour later. This provides time for teachers school-wide to collaborate and to work on professional development. Summit is also offering a free child care from 8 to 9 a.m. for parents who work. Also, the daily morning child care program will be held from 7 to 8 a.m., the same as every day. Summit hopes that this will be a good opportunity for family time and teacher professional development. Michaela has our Thursday Morning Live editorial. Have any of y'all heard about the delayed start on Wednesdays? Well, this is what I and others think about it. Though I think having an hour to sleep in is pretty good, lots of parents have jobs, so they're not able to get their kids to school any later than the normal time. So their kids and our students have to wait to school for an hour until it begins. I think a better alternative would be to get out of school an hour early, instead of having to go to school an hour late. This way, it's not such an inconvenience to parents and students. What do you think? The new NCAA playoff system for college football consists of four teams picked by a selection committee. It is effective this year. The teams will play in two semifinal games, the Sugar Bowl and the Rose Bowl. The winners will go on to the championship game. The rest of the teams will play in minor bowl games from the old system. The semifinals will rotate among six bowls, and the other, in other words, the bowl system will stay the same, but the top four teams will have a chance at the title instead of the former system where it was only the top two. There was a stabbing at Ziggy's, a local downtown nightclub in early September. There were three injuries related to the stabbing. Fortunately, the injuries were minor, but the police do not have any suspects. Ziggy's is a music club where many people in Winston-Salem like to go. The owners of Ziggy's are trying to make it as safe as possible and to ensure their customer safety. The King of the Netherlands, King Willem Alexander, op opened 
a nether an ethanol plant in Iowa on September 5th. He visited Emmitsburg, Iowa for the grand opening of the ethanol plant. Lots of people are asking why would the king of the Netherlands open an ethanol plant in Iowa. King Wilhelm Alexander says that Iowa is very similar to the Netherlands. If, for example, they're both agricultural land centers and it also reminds them of home because of the flat lands. Ethanol is a natural gas that is used as a fuel blend for cars. The ALS Ice Bucket Challenge is a fundraiser to raise money to defeat ALS. It's also a fun thing to do with your friends. Many people challenge others to try it. Often, people honor someone they know with ALS. ALS is a disease that takes control over your body so you can't walk or talk. The challenge went viral on Facebook and even our own Dr. Ebeling and Coach Shaw got into the spirit. The challenge has raised millions of dollars for research and raised awareness of the disease. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles has just opened and was an amazing movie, an instant classic. It's the same story of the baby turtles and the mouse known as Master Splinter being experimented on and they become really strong and start protecting people from the terrors of New York. The popular villain in the other movies, The Shredder, is back. Michael Bay directed the movie and he brought his own coolness to this film. If you like action-packed turtles, then this movie is for you. It looks like Justin Bieber is in trouble again. The first trouble came when Justin was getting out of his limo. Witnesses say Bieber spat at a guard and threatened to kill him. He also stole a photographer's camera, then laughed about it. Later, he was charged with vandalism at a hotel. He was caught spray painting Beliebers for Life while his security team took photos. Justin Bieber is a wreck. Now it's time for our Passionate People segment, which spotlights Summit students doing things they love. Hi, my name is Kate. I'm in seventh grade and I like to dance. I've been dancing at Wake ever since I was four. This last year, I broke my leg and I could not dance for that season. This year, I'm taking ballet seriously and I hope to advance in my level and become a better dancer. When I was four, I always dreamed of being on point, and this year it will be my second year on point. I have a lot of fun doing it, and if you want to get involved, go to the Wake Forest website. For passionate people, I'm here. The back to school dance is tomorrow from 7 until 9 p.m. It is casual and guests are not allowed. Casual means that boys can wear shorts and a nice shirt, and girls can wear a skirt and shirt or pants. You can get an Eagle Pass for $20 or you can pay $5 at the door. Every dance there are refreshments such as soda, juice, and water. There is also always a DJ for entertainment. The first dance is always a great time to meet new people. If you're a field hockey player or just a fan, then you should know about Coach Meredith Bynum. Coach Bynum attended college at Ohio Wesleyan University in Delaware, Ohio, where she majored in fine arts. Later, she earned a bachelor's degree of fine arts with concentrations in photography and metalsmithing. After college, Coach Bynum worked in Ohio for a bit before moving to the historic district in Winston-Salem. She helped open Finnegan's Wake and actively participated in the Arts for Arts' sake in downtown. Her inspiration comes from her love for the game, teaching, compassion for the sport, and the fact that coaching helps her to maintain movement. Since Coach Bynum used to go to Summit School, we asked her what it was like working at the same school she attended. She said that it was weird and wonderful at the same time. A lot of memories and kind of like coming home and getting to know something familiar as an adult. When we asked her what her goal was right now, she said to be honest, she doesn't really have one right now, but is figuring that out every day. Right now it is to be happy, healthy, and balanced and to give back to the people she cares about as much as she can. Riding motorcycles with her best friend and better, better half, Adam, playing with her dog Lily, traveling whenever she can, and making art are some of her favorite pastimes. Now here's Kevin with the TML weather. I'm Kevin with the TML weekend weather outlook. It looks like we're gonna have a beautiful weekend in store. It seems like fall has arrived with a high of 76 on Friday and the low of 56. It seems like great weather for our dance. On Saturday there will be a high of 79 and a low of 655, which will be great weather for college football. We finished the weekend with a high of 81 and a low of 62. It's going to be slightly overcast with only 10% chance of rain. 
Have a great weekend, everyone. For TML Weather, I'm Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. Let's go to Nasir for our TML Sports Report. I'm Nasir with the TML Sports Report. The Summit Fall Sports season has gotten off to a great start. Football is 1-0. Cross Country had three meets and have done a great job. The boys' soccer teams are undefeated. They have combined record of 9-0. Girls' tennis is 2-1-1. Two, two one, one. While JV field hockey is 1-2-1. One and two and one. Varsity field hockey and JV volleyball are still looking for their first wins, but they have continued to improve on each outing. Varsity volleyball has a 3-1 and one record. Be sure to go out and support your Screaming Eagles teams for TML Sports. I'm Nasir. Thanks, Nasir. That will do it for this edition of Thursday Morning Live. For all of us here in the studio, I'm Nathaniel. I'm Jeff. And I'm Isabel. Goodbye, everyone.